Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the PS3. Last time, we went to the Coliseum and did a few of the challenges here, uh, starting with the Fill Cup, which is the only one available to us right now, and we managed to die on each individual segment of the cup. We managed to die on the Enter Together section a few times. Oh well, that was my fault because I didn't give everybody the items they needed because I thought it would be easier, but uh... Looks like I underestimated it. And then I died another couple times on the sword just alone, but we beat it. Oh, by the way, for the enter together, we got the gravity spell. Very nice. Uh, enter alone, just sword. We got the combo plus ability for sword. We'll get more of those as we level up. But for rod, you don't get a... Or for staff, you don't get a lot of... Uh, you don't get those till later in the game, actually. So this one actually helps just because you get it from the fill cup. And then we failed miserably on the time limit because our characters are too weak to actually finish right now. I mean, you could probably do it if you really, really tried and got really, really lucky. But uh, I'm going to wait till we get better equipment and stuff from other worlds. And speaking of which, let's, uh, let's take out your guys' potions. Yeah, I don't want you guys wasting these on the other worlds we're going to. Alright, there we go. And... We still have three ability points for Sora, so let's go ahead and put on Treasure Magnet and Combo Plus. And I think there's a way to... There should be a way to... Uh... Ah, there we go. Uh, sort by AP. There we go. I like having it like this, that way we have all the one APs at the top, the twos, twos and threes, you know. This is the way I like to do it. You can also do it other ways, obviously. Let's see, uh, by the ones we have equipped, by the type. You know, I've never actually done the type, so let's see what that does. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I guess it goes, uh, combat abilities, uh, finishers, and then, and then exploration, exploration abilities. But you know what? I prefer the good old by AP. There we go. And I guess if you want to rearrange them, by yourself, you can do that too, but I like the way they are right now, so let's just keep it like that. So let's see, we got Sonic Blade, we're not going to use too much right now, because we don't have the AP for it. Plus it does cost 2 MP to use, so we'll, we'll, we'll live without that. Uh, I always do like having the where is it, Treasure Magnet on, that's always going to be good for clicking stuff. And now we got the Combo, combo Plus, which takes a little longer to get to the finishing move, because you have an extra combo in there. But you get the extra damage from the extra swing either way, so it still works. Alright, and just make sure you're sorted just properly. Obviously, you don't have to do this. I just like to. Alright, and we should be good to go. So let's head on out of here to Agrabah, where we already flew to with the gummy ship, so we don't got to worry about uh, reflying over there. Let's see, let's see. By the way, let's check out the gummy missions they got over at Agrabah. Let's see, they got... Slow and steady destruction. Obtain a score of 330 or higher. That shouldn't be too hard if you go through like one of the warps. Uh, let's see, Agrabah... Deep jungle, 200. We, we don't care about that right now. Uh, set off from deep jungle with only Thundara. Yeah, I don't really care about a lot of these. There's... We'll worry about these later, I guess. So, let's just warp on over to good old Bad de la Agra. And this is a much better world than Wonderland or Deep Jungle, so... I like this world a lot better, anyways. Not as confusing. Just a better place. And the keyhole? The Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves... <coughs> Jafar, I've looked everywhere for Jasmine. 
She disappeared like magic. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine, and bring her to me at once. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The heartless consume. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. They must not be too good at looking if uh, Jasmine's right there and they can't find her. But anyways, uh, here we are in Agrabah. These are new enemies right here. They're called uh, bandits. They're basically more agile uh, soldiers. They just uh, run around a lot more. They're more acrobatic, and their sword uh, has more range. And they can actually throw their sword at you like a like a boomerang, kind of. See ya. All right, we got plenty of stuff even in this little area to, to check out. So let's start doing that. Uh, I guess we gotta kill you guys first. Be careful of the pots in Agrabah, because every once in a while, uh, they will, uh, when you attack them, they will sprout legs, and they will be heartless enemies instead of a pot, uh, pot. they'll be called pot spiders. Uh, they do give a fair amount of, uh, uh, what is it, uh, money balls though, so that's nice. Alright, uh, we'll go through that door in just a minute, and we'll go through that hallway in just a minute. But let's go up here, grab another treasure chest. Mega Ether, those are fantastic. See, like this one, I think this one is a pot spider. No? I know there's a pot spider around here somewhere. Yeah, let's see, where are you? I don't think we can get up here yet, now that I think about it. Yeah, we gotta come back later and actually get up here, so. Oh well. Alright, so. I don't think you can jump in here either. Not that there's anything in there. And all right, let's go in here. Get this barrel out of the way, and grab this treasure chest. Make a potion, very nice. I'll take it. And we cannot use green trinities yet, so that's a, a shame. But oh well. They do give a fair amount of money in this world, so that's nice. Not not a bad world if you need money. Come, uh, we need to get money to come. And I just realized I could have... No, actually, I was about to say I couldn't have used that to get up there. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Uh, I think there's... That's everything in here. Yep. That green trinity will enable us to get that treasure chest. Uh, but not yet. Let's see. I don't think we can do a whole lot out in the desert just yet. Yeah, I think if you go too far, you just end up back in town. Yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah, we can't do anything out in the desert yet. We'll be going there eventually, though. So let's head over to the main street. Alright, spam thunder on these guys. By the way, notice how the uh, shadows have a little bit more HP now, since we're at a higher level world. Yeah, they're gonna. All the enemies, uh, when you find them in new worlds, they're gonna have slightly different stats. And yeah, these guys do more damage than these soldiers, obviously. Much more, much more dangerous. And, and they can also block their. They can also block your attacks uh, fairly well. But go ahead and parry them, and you'll be good to go. Alright, got some HP. Let's kill these guys to make sure they're not spiders. There you go, these are hot spiders right here. But yeah, see, they do drop a fair chunk of change right there, so that's nice. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Uh, let's go up here. And let's go up this little pole right here. Why not? Not pole dancing, just the pole. Mega elixir, very nice. What is this? I don't think I've ever... Oh, okay. That's, okay. I, I forgot about these, actually. Every time you see one of those little things, uh, stick your keyhole in it, and uh, one of a, a gate somewhere will open up, and you'll be able to uh, use it to get to a different area. Alright, scissors, G. I'm guessing that's another decorative gummy. And let's go ahead and move this off this uh, carpet. Well, thanks for saying thanks, buddy. Alright, the carpet flew off for the desert, but let's explore the city more. Okay, so he went to the desert. Good for him. Uh, let's see. That's where we came up. These will just take us back down to Main Street, just different uh, entrances, I do believe. Alright, anybody else down here? All the enemies are down here? No? Alright, uh, let's go back to that house for just a minute, because we could have we could have exited a different way, and that would have made it easier to get on the, the roofs of Agrabah. But actually, you know what? We don't have... Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the roof in just a minute. Let's go up here, kill this spider bro. Thank you, my good sir. And more spider dudes. Thunder! Thunder! Thank you. Let's see, I don't think we can get over there just yet, so let's just uh, ignore that. Instead, let's go over here. All these places that have the little uh, crates in the doorway, we'll be able to get through those uh, soon enough. We gotta go through a cutscene first, and then we'll be able to get through all those. But anyways, uh, go back to Atlanta's house one more time. By the way, that was Atlanta's house in case I didn't mention it. Which I don't think I did. What is it listed? Yeah, okay. It does say it's the lattice house, so it's not that big of a spoiler. Anyways, let's go out this way. And yeah, now we're up here, just a little higher up. So now we get over to that treasure chest over there. Alright, these right here, when you step on them, they're gonna fall down pretty fast, so you wanna jump away pretty fast. Actually, I guess those ones don't. I know some of those do fall down. I guess those weren't one of them. Come here, fella. Ah, there we go. Ah, you son of a bitch. Back to this treasure chest over here. Alright, uh, you guys take care of him down there so I can. Thunder. Not screw you. Spam thunder. There you go. And there we go, a cottage. Very nice. And that's pretty much everything up there. Alright, so now let's go back to where we were. Okay, let's see. What else can we do around here? We can... No, we can't do that. Uh, I don't think we can really do that. Actually, there's not a whole lot we can do in this area right now. Alright, so... Let me just make sure. We'll just climb up here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And then we'll head on to the area we're supposed to be in. Okay, we can't do that. We can't get over there. Actually, yeah, we can. We can get over there. Not that there's a whole lot over there. Yeah, I don't think we can reach that treasure chest just yet. Alright, and I don't think we can... Yeah, I don't think we can make it over there. So let's just go through here, which is the only place we can go. The alley. Huh? 
Who's there? Hello? I'm Jasmine. My father is the Sultan of Agrabah. Uh, so that makes you a princess. I'm not sure if, uh, I guess, that, I guess that's the proper term for the daughter of a sultan. Unless there's, like, an official term that I don't know about. But he has been deposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's a royal vizier. He's grand. He's gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He's desperately looking for something. Something he calls the Keyhole. Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped me. Uh, Jafar helped you escape, or some other he? We were hiding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. Oh, I hope Aladdin's all right. Aladdin. Where might I find this street rat? Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. Alright, we gotta dispose of these guys, and then we can go help uh, Jasmine find Mr. Aladdin, who is obviously her protector, or boyfriend, or something, who knows. Uh, don't destroy those, because that'll, that'll let you get up to the higher level right there. Uh, kill this, though, for some money. Alright, so now we can get up here to this treasure chest, assuming we can kill these guys first. Okay, somebody kill him. Actually, I don't know if you even need those boxes to get up there now that I think about it. Okay, yeah, I guess you do, because I was thinking I was thinking maybe these things are big enough to stand on, but apparently they are not. Yeah, make a potion very nice. Add another unlocking item. And that unlocks the doorway that's like right over there, I think. Uh, let's see, we still can't get through this. Uh, let's see. These are the ones that will fall down if you stay on them too long. Yeah, see? Stay on them too long, and they fall down. Uh, I think they go back up after a few minutes. But, just don't stay on them too long, otherwise you get just pushed down towards the bottom. You know what? Screw you guys. Alright, so this door, let's see where this door takes us. The main street again. I think it takes us to a different section of the main street, though. Or not, or just takes us higher up. That works too, I guess. Alright, Jasmine should now be somewhere in here. Where is she? Huh, I don't remember where she went. I think we're supposed to go to the desert now, after that scene, I think. But, let's get some health first, very nice, and now let's head to the desert. Now we're going to be able to actually make our way through the desert because of something we did earlier. And there we go. Because we rescued the carpet from the boxes, he will now take us out further into the desert that we can go uh, just walking by ourselves. So that's very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and save right here because there is kind of a tough boss coming up. Alright. We're out of the desert. Let's talk to this guy, the carpet, the magic flying carpet. And all aboard for, well, the desert. Alright, 
Let's grab these guys out of the way. Die, die, die. Yeah, these guys, because they block so much, they're much tougher just because uh, they, they're like Riku. They, they, they parry your attacks. And, well, they're not they're not as dangerous as Riku on the island, obviously. But because they guard your attacks, uh, your combos don't go through as much. So that sucks. And Donald actually had the... Donald actually had the balls to cast the uh, arrow on him. You're a good man, Donald. You know what, Donald, you since you actually helped me out earlier, I guess we can bring you back to life. Why not? See, that's the little sword throw they do. I think they can kind of control the path that it takes. Like, so it like, pumps, it pumps, in, pumps in on you a little bit. But I'm not entirely sure about that. I just know they like to throw it at you a lot. And Donald's back on the, uh, back on the ground again. Good job, Don. Gorge, not again! Genie, get rid of these guys! <laughs> Wish number one coming right up! I see. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon Please, the- kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. I'm a rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. A one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and split it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. So, master, what do you have for wish number two? <laughs> How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine, but she's a princess, and I'm... Ah, uh, she could never fall for a guy like me. Oh, princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. All right, we got Aladdin as our uh, next the world specific party member uh he's again gonna be a physical attacker so we can switch out goofy for him um i don't think we really yeah you know what yeah i don't think there's a whole lot of trinities to activate right now so i guess we could switch him out so let's switch out the goofster for him and i guess that uh, i guess that boss fight was a little later than i thought but either way it's gonna be a tough boss fight once we do get out there Doors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie? It's a promise, after we help Jasmine. Here I come. 
yeah, uh, Aladdin is a pretty good part of him. He just tears through enemies. Okay, these guys right here are called uh, Fat Bandits. Uh, they're like large bodies, except they can uh, do some fire elemental attacks. Uh, let's see, let's try our new gravity spell on them, because that will do a good chunk of damage to them, because they have a lot of health. The more health an enemy has, the more the gravity spell will do to them. But yeah, uh, Aladdin is a pretty good, pretty good attacker. He just has a uh, good stats all around. He's fast. He's agile. He's strong. He's got good combos. Stuff like, stuff like that. He's just a good character. All right. Uh, let's see, Donald. You're already wasting your arrow. Don't have money. All right. And let's go ahead and check out uh, Aladdin's abilities that he's got going on. Uh, first off, let's sort. There you go. All right. He's got cheer, which increases the summon the summon gauge. Uh, give that to everybody, and it increases it even more. Obviously, the bigger the MP gauge they have, the more attacks they can do. Like, as you saw with uh, Simba, one big roar just kind of wiped out his MP, MP bar. But if you get three characters with cheer on him, then he could probably do two or three of them. Let's see, Crescent, very good attack. Sandstorm, another good attack. Critical Plus, increases his critical hit rate. Treasure Magnet, he's not going to use that too much, so let's just uh, give him the critical hit. There you go. Jackpot, more money, more, more chance for better items. Very good. All right, let's see. And I think he comes with some equipment. Yeah, he comes with a protect chain and a fire ring. And you know what, I think I have an extra Proterra chain, so let's just give that to him. And fire ring, you're good. All right. If you do give him good equipment, like the uh, Ifrit's ring or Ifrit's horn or whatever, uh, make sure you remember to take him off when you leave the area. Uh, I mean, they'll still have them the next time you come in, but it's just a good idea to not uh, keep your best equipment on people that are just in one world and then forget to take it off when you leave. Alright, this path is blocked up now, so we have to go to the rooftops. I guess the uh, treasure magnet for uh, Aladdin could be pretty good that we could c collect the money that you missed, but yeah, he'll be fine without it. Oh, nice. Death. Alright. Still can't get up there yet, but we've already been up there, so we don't really care. And I guess if you didn't uh, discover the passageway out up to the top right there, uh, when you rescue Jasmine, now you'd be kind of forced to, since well, you have to go through there to, to go through there, because this door is locked off. Alright, stop breaking every time I stand on you there, dude. Alright, let's see, over here, over here, and... Yeah, see, Aladdin just goes through enemies real fast. Actually, let's check his attack stats real quick. I never actually did that. Uh, let's see, he is level 27, so he's pretty high above us. And he's got a 24 attack, which is higher than Sora, much higher than Donald, and much higher than Goofy. So, yeah. Sure, he's four levels ahead of us, but he's still very good on the attack and defense right there. Heck, his defense are better than all of ours. And HP, yeah, it's not bad. It's about as much as I got with accessories. But yeah, he does a good job of just being a good character. I mean, Tarzan was good, but he suffered from the no MP syndrome that Goofy has. Or, not a lot of MP, I guess I should say. Alright, where'd the other guy go? Here you got him. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see, our next destination is going to be down through that door right there. Down through that door right there. There we go. But, we can always take out a few more enemies. Why not? There you go. Let's see, can we get over here yet? Is it still... Oh, it's not locked off. Okay, good. This area right here has a enemy that could spawn that's good for experience if yeah here we are uh, these guys right here the uh the black fungus they don't seem to have a lot of hp but they they actually have a very high defense 
and they can also make themselves invulnerable by turning into stone right there. And once they do that, you can't attack them, so that kind of sucks. They'll give a good amount of experience uh, when you kill them, and they have a chance to drop mystery goo, so that's also very nice. Only well, problem is, they can be kind of hard, hard to kill because they're invisible half the damn time. Uh, let's see. Alright, there you go. Okay, come on. Okay, you are still alive. Yeah, watch out for their poison attack, too. We can't do a whole lot right here, so let's just uh, wait for them to become unadmissible. I actually forgot this blue trading was here, but you know what? We'll live. Alright, uh, yeah, 96 experience. That's pretty good. Uh, you guys are all dead. Yeah, I was trying to go for uh, Aladdin there, but oh well. Ooh, air combo plus for Sora. That lets him have another hit on his air combos, obviously. Let's see, for... For, let's see... For Sword, you get... Sword, you get the guard skill. Uh, which you got uh, from the shield already, which was you guard from an attack. And uh, shield, you get the lucky strike ability, which increases uh, rare, increases drop rate for enemies. Well, that gets another strength bonus, very nice. So, yeah, these guys, they may be tough to kill, but once you do kill them, well worth it. 96 experience points this early in the game, not bad. So, if you ever. There you go. By the way, uh, characters do get characters do get experience even though they're not in the battle. Uh, those little uh, black mushrooms, uh, they're gonna appear several places throughout the game. Uh, this is just one of the areas they, they, they can appear. Uh, let's see. Let's get up to you, Adara G. Very nice. And over here, another treasure chest. And a fire ring. Alright. And that's pretty much everything we can do in here except for this. Which unlocks that. Alright. Uh, let's switch out for Goofy real fast so we can grab that blue trinity. Is there anybody down here that wants to die? You guys, okay. Protera chain, very nice. Yeah, we're gonna heal up this one anyway, so might as well spam with these guys, why not? Glad you are a champ. Let's just put it that way. And I don't want to miss you. Right shard, very nice. We're gonna be unlocking synthesis synthesis uh, after this world if we so choose. By the way, I think these guys are weak to fight our uh, blizzard. I think. I don't remember off the top of my head. And you can cancel their, uh, the breath attack if you get a good enough hit in, I think. Come here. There you go. Thunder. There you go. Yeah, lots of HP from these guys. They have a lot of HP to go through, so they give a lot of HP with the and knock them out. I'll take it. And you cannot attack those barrels right there. But you can kind of see through the uh, see through the area. So it's not really a loading screen for that for that area, I don't think it is. Uh, so that's why you can see through it, I guess. And I think that should be all the enemies around here we can clobber. So let's go grab that booster. I don't think having Aladdin up here does anything special, just uh, lets you use the save point again. Oh, I forgot. There's a cutscene. Never mind. So, Jafar is after Jasmine in this keyhole. Keyhole, eh? I could have swore I've heard about that somewhere before. Really? Where? Now, where was it? It's only been 200 years. Well, anyway, we've got to stop Jafar before it's too late. Alright, fine. I guess we're going to take over Jafar if we can find him. Alright, first off, uh, Sir Goofalot. And I think I went for the wrong exit. Yeah, I did. Oh well. 
Come here, you little, you little bastard. Ooh, you got the item. Oh! You know what? Gravity your ass. Or I could die. That works too. I think one of the bandits got a critical hit. Oh well. Ignore you guys and just go in here. I want to get the Trinity Shard real fast. Not Trinity Shard. Uh, Trinity, uh... Trinity, uh, jump, I guess. Blue Trinity. There you go. I couldn't remember the name. And I gotta kill you guys. Oh, there, happy he's dead. Go away. Try, trying to get into this damn trinity here, dude. Get out of the way. Okay, target the fat guy. That should be all. No, never mind. I didn't even see you guys back here. Alright, now that's everybody. Okay, now let's go get the, uh, the Blue Trinity. Or we can fight you guys too. That works too. By the way, these barricades, they're not going to be here forever. They're just here for, uh, right now for clock purposes. And uh, I guess make us go through all the areas of the uh, world. I guess that's one of the plot purposes. Alright, over here. Stop pitching those. Yeah, just to make sure these damn blue uh, black mushrooms don't show up again. Uh, black fungus. And I think they're here again. Okay, that works too. Alright, thank you, Donald. I appreciate that. Alright, you with the. Not in vulnerability. Come here. Well, okay, I'm about to die here. Uh... These guys are worth using your items on, except for the fact that they give you so much experience out of it. You know what? Uh, just you can use some HP, and you can use some death. Oh, target this guy. There you go. This guy vulnerable? Yes, he is not vulnerable. So kill him. There you go. Two more. Now these guys, very tough. And yeah, these guys are even going to be in some of the uh, Coliseum, uh, Coliseum matches later on. Ooh, Goofy gets another accessory slot. Very nice. Another Protero chain for you, or another Protect chain or something. Actually, you know what? We're not going to be using you that much in this area, so... Oh, well. Alright, come on, hurry up. There you go. Alright. And now Trinity... Yeah, lots of money and a Mega Ether. Very nice. I'll right, we'll take all that. Let's see, how much money does that actually give us? Uh, it gives us 115 money. Not too shabby. Alright, 
So we've made it through the first part of Agrabah. Uh, next time, we're going to go follow uh, Jasmine through the uh, main entrance of the plaza there. And we'll try to stop her getting kidnapped uh, by Jafar. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.